Hi guys. I got something else working with the Arduino. Um, this is the um, a modified version of the Brainy Bits code for the temperature and humidity. I've changed the bitmap. But I got it to go temperature in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. This is the uh, Nokia blue. It's at the blue LED little screen. It's patched in with this uh, cable to come off a Motorola something old radio piece of equipment DHT 11 temperature humidity deal the Arduino Uno <coughs> there I also got some newer some new toys in yesterday <coughs> um I ordered one of these and they sent me three. I only paid for one. They are nanos. <coughs> and uh, this thing here that I found is a voltage sensor, a proper voltage sensor, so we don't have to get voltage directly off the pins. We can get it off an analog pin. It's got the uh, resistor uh, current limiter droppers on it already. And it takes up to 25 volts this one and uh, I think I'll be ordering another screen or I could just put it all on this screen put the code in <clears throat> um, this little sensor here also had ordered a wind a wind uh, speed deal I don't know when that's gonna be in it was $60 for that the most expensive Arduino sensor the little wind uh, measurement and a barometric pressure sensor that wasn't too bad um, that's, that's it though we're taking the LCD off of the pins um, this is going into an analog pin one all this code is online I'll put up the modified for Fahrenheit code where it has this icon on it that is the same code that the Brainy Bits guys did just with their little Brainy Bits icon and in Celsius um, he helped me figure out the code to get it Fahrenheit but it this is, didn't work I figured out another way a cleaner way to do it and got it to go and that'll be posted in a link below so um, yeah Now, what the project is going to be is the screen's going to stay here. I'm still waiting for the RF link to come in for this system, but I'm going to be moving this piece onto a nano, and it's going to have a power coming in, of course, here. Unless I can tap power from somewhere else on here, but I don't think I can. Maybe I could probably get it off one of these pins. Anyway, I'd rather get it through here because there is a protection circuit I think on our fuse yeah there's a fuse back here protecting it and that's going to go to an LM7805 regulator and be powered by a 6 volts uh, sealed lead acid battery with a little solar charge controller circuit on it and it's going to be solar powered and it's going to be put outside and I'm going to put it on my antenna mast you know up so I can get and this also had the transmitter board for the RF link on it, one of these. Um, another one of these, I'll just have the voltage thing on it, and I'll put that on my house solar. And it takes up my home solar system is 24 volts. This goes to 25. So I can monitor the input voltages or batteries or whatever with that. Weather station will have the temperature, pressure, and the wind inputs on it to be mounted in a small little pelican case and put outside if I can ever get around to actually building it up I gotta get all the parts in first I might show that off before I actually mount it um, maybe after I mount it and then this piece here will try to improvise some kind of box for it put it in the house and fire it all up see how it works I do have a separate power supply for this but right now I'm just using the computer. Now there was a little bug with this screen that I found. I don't know if it's the screen or if it's the Uno, but 
sometimes when I start this machine, backlight comes on and there's nothing on the screen. I have to reset a few times and fiddle with it to get it to work, and I don't know what's causing that. But I gotta work that out before I get it all together. So this is what's going on in the world of the Arduino projects. Like I said, I'll put the code below with a Fahrenheit code for those of us in the United States that like to use Fahrenheit. And it'll look just like this on your project. But the credit needs to go to the Brainy Bits guys for writing the bulk of the code. I'm just, I just did a modification to get Fahrenheit, that's all I did. Anyway, yeah, this that's what's going on now with this. I'm still waiting for more of the parts and sensors to come in. We can go further with it. Um, yeah, I ordered one of these, and I got three. Now, there was a little flaw with this one. If you could see that, I guess that's a voltage regulator chip. It was kind of cocked off set. So I had to probe it with a meter against one of these. Man, you can't see crap, can you? The uh, big tab right here probed it to that resistor, see if it was, and it is connected to it. So it being like that is not hurting anything. I was lucky there; I didn't have to desolder it and put it back on the hot air station or anything. So. They all work. I got code loaded into them with the LED blinks. I'm not going to power them up because that would entail me wrestling the camera around and undoing the cables. And here's the cable I'm using. It uh, they didn't come with it, but I had one that had an end that was cut off, so I heat shrinked a new one on the USB. And yeah, that's the uh, so now I got four Arduinos here that I got to play with, but yeah, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.